Welcome to today's episode of Financial Myths and Misconception. Again, my name is Angeli Mondonedo. And I'm Ayana Olipio. And today's episode, Angeli, we're going to be talking about don't seek professional advice uh, for first time home buyers. And I think it's a great topic for the month of March as we enter the spring, because that's where many first time home buyers are started. Uh, sprouting up given it's spring sprouting. <laughs> wow. no fun <laughs> <didn't it? laughs> and that is right especially right now that um obviously there are a lot of more DIYers and mm. a lot of resources are more accessible to everyone because they can search it online they can learn everything on YouTube but there's also this connotation that seeking professional advice to different professionals when it comes to um, buying your house or if your first time buying a house is 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 not they think that there's 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 it's always a negative thing right that there's no, like, like they want to do it for, themselves so they want the faster route or a shortcut doesn't everyone want a shortcut though? <laughs> yeah, for sure. But when it comes to their biggest purchase in their life, I don't think you should take any shortcuts. Uh, and before you even purchase a home, you shouldn't sit down with a realtor first. You should look at the numbers. Like you should look at, you should sit down with a financial professional, just like myself and yourself. Um, And why that is, is it's not for us just because we're in the business, but to truly help you understand what is coming in, what is coming out. Can you truly afford the home that you'd want? And if not at this time, when? Right? It's not because, okay, maybe now you're not ready, but when can you be ready? And can we be there for you to navigate you purchasing your first home? Yes, yeah, totally agree. And preparation is, is, it's not just about your finances, right? In life, you always need to prepare. There's always this preparation phase. Right? <laughs> right. And if it's this is the biggest or the most um, highest, um, let's say, expense in your life, why don't you plan for it? Why don't you prepare exactly. so much for it? Exactly. It's, it's the time to do so. If you haven't sat down with a financial professional in the past, this is a great time as you prepare for your biggest investment. It's also so key. I like, for instance, majority of um, individuals, they buy a home and they become house poor. And then they put all of that money in that. Uh, I find through through the experience that I've, uh, I've gone through from helping families buy their first home and not to be biased, but um, majority of them mentioned to me that it's good to have that firsthand and before diving into it okay? like for example can i give you a case example i can't i can't give you the name but let's just say john his doe. name is joe jo, <laughs> joe doe i was gonna say <laughs> so okay john doe works uh and <laughs> <John Doe. laughs> you know for for him i've been with working with him for the past five years and he was not ready at that time, but his plan is to purchase it within five years time frame. Okay? And now that is the time when he's ready. It's not that he doesn't have just enough for down payment, but he knows that he has money allocated for down payment and also his retirement and some. A lot of times, many families that buys their first home or purchases their first home and get into that market, mm -hmm what falls apart is their retirement because they put all of the money yeah. into that basket and never recover. Right. And how many, how many do you know today uh, in terms of retirement retirees that are living their best life? Mm -hmm. Many retirees still have debt. And one of the biggest debt that they still carry is what their mortgage. Their mortgage It's like a sink or swim. Like I, I just need to buy a house. I just need a house now. And whatever and happens at the end. And I, you know, I understand the feeling and I understand where that comes from because a house can give you profit and equity mm -hmm. over time. Uh, but it's like locking in your, locking into one investment. 
And within our past episodes, we talked about diversifying in portfolio. Same mm-hmm. thing, if this is an investment for you, do you want to lock in all of your investment into this? And you're locked in for 30 years, at least 25 years. I know, or more. Or more. Especially now that, you know, like obviously a few years ago, their the mortgage interest or is the lowest that they could get. It's like 2%. And then I have this new, um, new client, not new, uh, but she was renewing her um, mortgage. And the good thing is they've been with the uh, World Financial Group uh, more than five years now. So mm-hmm. they were prepared as well, right? That's Even great. if uh, the mom was is currently studying and the only uh, person who has income right now is the dad, then mm-hmm. they were still prepared of something that could have happened like today from imagine 2% to 5% or almost 5%. Yeah, exactly. And I was looking actually in terms of mortgage rates, and I know some our next few episodes will have uh, professionals that are coming on. Uh, mm-hmm. And then the bank rate today, there was an announcement today, actually kind of funny that it was March 6th, but it held its rate. Uh, so it didn't go down, didn't go up. So we're still at the 5%. And we don't know if it's going to go up or down in the next announcement. Uh, so we'll see. The next announcement will be next month. And I find you just have to be prepared, whether whether you're preparing for buying your first home or kids education, you know, those biggest life events, we you need to sit down with a financial professional, they will fast track the process and, and give you a third bird's eye view, third's eye view, bird's <laughs> eye view, when it comes to your finances that you didn't think you needed or that may be an oversight for you right so i think it's very beneficial but when it comes to buying a home jelly we i like to call it i was chatting with you earlier i was like oh you need a home buying team (laughs) and can you go through like okay what are who are the home buying team that you need on your side it's not just financial professional that is the starting point but yeah so besides us there's a lot more that you want to be in your team a uh, mortgage broker or mor- mortgage specialist, uh, a real estate professional, a real estate agent, and a lawyer, real estate lawyer, right? Those people that we mentioned, um, having those um, professional that you believe or that you trust would actually give you a whole lot more of resources and insider insights that mm. I would say, right? That you can easily Google or like see it online or on social media. Yeah, the oversight. They've experienced or they've talked to a lot of people, right? In their sure. industry and also their clients. And so um, it's more of like um, being more of personalized, right? Have Or getting the personalized um, advice for sure. 110%. I totally agree with that. And before you sit down with those professionals that Angeli mentioned, sit down first. The first step is to find a financial professional that you trust to go through your numbers mm-hmm. and then shop for a home. Don't shop for a home and not check your numbers. Like that is the biggest mistake that you will make. And I've seen it happen where you found a home, you're disappointed that you can't afford the home, like your forever home for some or your first home for some here in Canada and then you're like well how can I ever do it and now the whole negative uh, rabbit hole comes about and I it's just because you didn't check your numbers first check your numbers first then look for a home okay so that's my that's what I've seen that many uh, first-time home buyers has you know done we want you to achieve your dream house um just to make sure be prepared and and attend our workshops and attend our LinkedIn Live. You'll learn a lot for sure. 110%. Well, I look forward to the upcoming weeks, Jelly. And I think that concludes our episode for today. All right. Thank you, everyone. And we'll see you again next week. Uh, financial myths and misconception. Have a great day. Bye for now.